Welcome back to ArxFlix. Today, we're exploring a groundbreaking paper titled Web Voyager, Building an End to Web Agent with Large Multimodal Models. This research introduces a novel web agent that leverages the power of large multimodal models, LMMs, to navigate real-world websites and complete complex tasks. This figure showcases the overall workflow of Web Voyager. It takes user instructions, browses the web, and returns the answers. For example, a user might ask, find the cost of a two-year protection for PS for on Amazon. Web Voyager interacts with Amazon, locates the PS for, identifies the protection price, and returns $30.99 to the user. Existing web agents often struggle with real-world scenarios. They typically handle only one input modality, like text, and are evaluated in simplified simulators or static web snapshots. This limits their applicability. Web Voyager addresses this gap by integrating visual and textual information, mimicking human web browsing behavior. Web Voyager utilizes Selenium to create an online browsing environment, providing screenshots and textual content from interactive web elements. Inspired by set of mark prompting, it marks interactive elements on screenshots, guiding its decision-making process. Here's an example of a webage screenshot provided to Web Voyager. Notice the borders and numerical labels on interactive elements, making it easier for the agent to identify and interact with them. Web Voyager's observation space includes screenshots, textual content from interactive elements, and error messages. It uses GPT-4 Act to extract interactive elements and overlay bounding boxes with numerical labels on the screenshots. Web Voyager's action space includes common mouse and keyboard actions like clicking, typing, scrolling, waiting, going back, jumping to a search engine, and providing an answer. The actions are formatted concisely, leveraging the numerical labels for precise element identification. Evaluating an end-to-end -end web agent with online navigation poses unique challenges. Existing benchmarks often rely on predefined trajectories, limiting their ability to capture the full range of possible strategies. Web Voyager addresses this by saving screenshots throughout the navigation process and using GPT-4 to automatically evaluate the trajectories and final results. This figure shows a complete trajectory of Web Voyager interacting with the Apple website. The agent successfully navigates the website and obtains the desired information, demonstrating its ability to complete tasks effectively. Web Voyager was evaluated on a new benchmark consisting of 300 web tasks from 15 popular websites. It achieved a 55.7% task success rate, significantly outperforming both GPT-4 all tools, and a text-only version of Web Voyager. Web Voyager demonstrates the potential of multimodal web agents for real-world applications. It highlights the importance of integrating visual and textual information for effective web navigation. The paper also introduces a novel automatic evaluation protocol using GPT-4V, paving the way for efficient and large-scale evaluation of web agents. That's it for this summary of Web Voyager. If you're interested in learning more about this exciting research, check out the full paper on Arziv. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more summaries of cutting-edge AI research. Until next time, keep exploring the world of AI. Thanks a lot to Element for supporting ArxFlix and providing this wonderful voice.